Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install VMware Pro on your Windows PC for free. VMware Workstation Player has been officially discontinued and VMware Pro is now free for personal use few months after the company was acquired by Broadcom. Now let's head to our browser. So initially to download VMware, we just have to go to VMware official website, click on products and under desktop hypervisors, you can see Workstation Pro and Workstation Player is no longer here. Now if we click on Workstation Pro, it should take us to this page VMware Desktop Hypervisors. So if we scroll down here and then click on VMware Workstation Pro for PC, download now. It is now going to take us to Broadcom official website. That is because VMware is now part of Broadcom. Now to download VMware Pro, we have to create a Broadcom account. Now you can click on the login button right here and then click on register. Here you can create a Broadcom account which you can now use to sign in to download VMware. Now I already created a Broadcom account so I'm just going to head into sign in. So let's log in with our username and password. So this is our Broadcom dashboard and you can see under my downloads it is empty and if you click on all products nothing is working. If you click on products up here it should take us to Broadcom product page. And if you scroll down, you wouldn't find VMware among the list of options here. And now if we go up, you're also going to see that VMware is now part of Broadcom. The VMware products can be found at the VMware products page. But if we click on the VMware products page, it's going to take us to the page we are coming from. Let's scroll down to VMware Workstation Pro, right? Since that's what we need. Click on VMware Workstation Pro and it is taking us to the page we are coming from. Now if you click on download now under VMware Workstation Pro for PC, it is still going to take us to the download page of Broadcom which doesn't really present VMware that we initially want to download. Now I have a link to VMware blog where you can download VMware Workstation Pro from. So let me just paste the link there. I'll provide this link in the video description so you can head directly here. So this is a blog post that was made May 13th, 2024. And if you scroll down here, you can see Pro Apps are now free for personal use and licensed for commercial use. So VMware Workstation Pro is now free. Down here, you can see VMware Fusion Pro and VMware Workstation Pro download. So let's click on VMware Workstation Pro download. And it should redirect to VMware page on Broadcom. So here we go. This is VMware Workstation Pro for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Now make sure to select workstation pro for personal use if you go with the workstation pro for windows it is going to require you have a license since this is not the personal use version so let's click on the vmware workstation pro for personal use and select the version you want to download this is the latest version at the moment so you can go with whichever version you want and then click on i agree to terms and conditions right here i agree now you can click on the download button by the side here and it should start downloading VMware Workstation Pro. Download complete. Now let's close our browser and head to our download folder. So this is VMware Workstation Pro we just downloaded. Now let's double click to run. Next agree to the terms next 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 and then install on vmware workstation player we had limitations like not being able to run more than one virtual machine vm snapshot vm cloning sharing your virtual machine nested virtualization and many more and now we can now do all of that and more for free using vmware pro now click on finish now we can run VMware Workstation Pro from our desktop. So basically, this is how to install VMware Workstation Pro for free on your Windows PC. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.